you can download it from. Uh, so there's a site, jetbrains.com slash pytrim slash download. You can click on the community download. It's free. It's open source. Um, it'll start the download here. And then uh, you will, after that, pull up a little window. And you'll have this. So uh, once you drag the tool in, it'll install it into your applications. Um, it's just going to install here. And this just takes a few seconds. Uh, and then you should see it here. Now, I've already previously downloaded Python 3.6, and you can see that I have that there. Uh, this should work for Python 3.7 as well. But Remember that Mac has built in Python 2, so we want to make this work with Python 3, which has been tricky in the past, but uh, using this method actually winds up being pretty easy. So open up PyCharm, and this, if you haven't opened it up before, this will be like the first time uh, you're opening it up. And I'm just going to show you guys uh, setting up a workspace or a project space, and then we're going to say do not import settings. Uh, you can read through the privacy policy. I'm going to accept it, and I will not send usage statistics. Um, all right, so you can se select here whether or not you've used used it before. Um, but I'm just going to skip remaining and set everything to default. You can go through some settings and customize it. When you get to this screen, what you want to do is you want to hit create a new project. And this is if you've used Eclipse before as like um, a workspace. And what you want to do is select the folder that you would like your projects to store in. So I have a, a folder called Python Workspace. So I'm actually going to use that. Um, there's a default folder, but I'm actually going to go on my desktop and use this um, uh, file Python Workspace and use that as my default um, location for my new project. When you're using the virtual environment, um, I think I haven't had success using virtual environment installing Pygame this way. Um, so what we want to end up doing is actually using our system environment. Um, but the the problem with that is I'm not uh, you don't see it on the initial window. So you have to launch it and then change the interpreter. So we can just start with. Um, if you want to do the new environment now, let me see if it, it might be set up. Yeah, so you you can try going into it right here, existing interpreter, and hitting the three dots. Uh, and then in, in this menu, um, we have to actually select system interpreter. Now it should be able to find a couple different ones. So I have um, Python two installed two point seven by default, but I've also installed Python three point six. So I'm using that as my interpreter. I'm going to hit OK. And there, now it finds it. So you, you have to make sure you go to this existing interpreter instead of uh, the new environment. And then you can hit Create. And uh, uh, no, I think my folder wasn't quite empty. So um, Right, we'll just close out of that. Now it needs a minute to load in to set everything up. It'll need a minute to like set up the interpreter. Um, but while it's doing that, we can kind of explore um, what's in here. So yeah, it looks like I use this with um, Eclipse, which is why I have a metadata folder in here. Um, your folder probably won't have that. What you're gonna do is just create a new um, project by right clicking uh, and saying new. Python file. So anytime you want to make a Python script, you can just create a new Python file. Uh, if you want to, you know, make a folder inside of your uh, workspace, inside your project, you can do that. Um, or you can organize things into packages as well. But we're just going to start with the Python file. And I'm going to name this um, Pygame test. And you'll see it creates an empty shell for me to work with. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import Pygame as well. All right, so <clears throat> when we type import Pygame and then we try and run it, 
we see uh, no module named pygame loaded in. Um, right, so now we need to install the package. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down on here on the right and go into interpreter settings. And then you'll see here, these are all the packages that I have installed with, within this Python um, library. So I'm using Python 3.6. And down here, there's a little plus sign. PyCharm lets you quickly install um, any number of libraries that you can search from right here. And so we're going to search for PyGame. We're going to hit Install Package. Let it run. And voila. Um, it says Package PyGame installed successfully. Okay, so we'll exit out of that. We'll hit OK. And you can see, actually, I'm going to go back into that menu. You can see uh, it now has Pygame installed and what version of it's installed and all that. So we hit OK. And now we should be able to run the test again. And this time, no error comes up. And it says, uh, hello from Pygame community. This means that it was successful and you are ready to start coding in Pygame. All right, so hopefully this was helpful and um, you're able to go make some cool animations and games. All right, happy coding.